Got the Ross flat box. Today we're going to tie a pattern called the centipede pupa. This is a midge pattern, and every once in a while a pattern comes along and makes you smile on the water uh, when the fish just likes something. And this is one of those. I tied this pattern uh, two seasons ago, and it has uh, done very, very well for me. Uh, I tied it to, for, to challenge the midge hatch on uh, Fishing Creek and in Penn central Pennsylvania, and it, uh, it was a pleasant surprise. So let's go over how we tie it. I start off with a size 18 Caddis Emerger hook and tan ADOT uni thread. We'll start our thread and bring it back to the midway point of the shank, right about even with the point of the hook. The next material we're going to tie in is probably common to all of you because uh, you've probably thrown them away and I no longer do. Uh, this is the butt ends of centipede legs. They're small brown and black centipede legs. Um, I hang on to them. I got them in several colors. As I complete them, I put these in a little baggie. And you're going to cut a section off that gives you at least four segments of striping. And I, I tend to cut it off with a shortened section of tan because that's where I tie it in at. You tie that in the middle of the shank. Keep it up on top, and then bring your thread back just a little bit. And that's going to prop up fairly well. You don't have to worry about that. That's not going to stay up like that. Because your next material is going to bring it down. The next material you're going to tie in is black thin skin. I cut it in just about an eighth of an inch section. And it comes in two sides, a slightly dull side that has the paper backing and the shiny side. And you can tie it with the shiny side down, but to the rear, so that when you pull it over, you get the shiny. And you bind that down, begin it about an eye length behind the eye, and then wrap back over it, keeping it up on top. And you're going to come back just about a wrap past where you stop the centipede leg and you'll see what that does that forces that centipede leg further down and give a couple extra wraps right there make sure everything's in place the next material you're going to tie in is olive ice dub and you're only going to dub a short section an inch maybe and you're going to dub your body you're not going to build it up too much you're just going to bring it forward and the next material you're going to tie in is pearlescent flashaboo or this is crystal flash, I'm sorry. Not flash of blue. And you're going to grab six or eight strands of that. About six or eight strands. At this point, I like to lean my hook back a bit. because it makes it easier to manage around the head. And I'm going to pinch wrap behind the eye. Get it started. And then I'm going to pull my other side back. And do a delta on both sides like legs. I'm going to wrap back into them pretty good to get them out of the way. And next you're going to pull your thin skin over to the front. 
I pull my legs back, or that crystal flash back a little bit. But you're gonna pull, the key is, you're gonna stretch that, that thin skin. Uh, let's see, make sure I get them out of the way. You're gonna stretch that thin skin pretty tight. And start your wrap. Once you get the first wrap, you can pull it tight. And that'll give you a little space up front. Give a few security wraps up front. And don't let it crowd the eye. Just a couple security wraps. And then come back up behind for a couple more. I do that before I trim it off. Sometimes it'll slide. Your head will slide a little bit. I don't worry too much about my head. It's going to hold. And we're going to give a quick whip finish. It comes out with a little bit of a bulky head, but it actually ties in very nicely. And then we're going to take our legs, or our wings, we're going to trim them to about an eighth of an inch, not even that. Gather them all up. just so we have them. Not quite gap length or anything like that. And then we're going to apply a little bit of head cement. Not too much, it's a little fly. And that's going to run back a little bit onto your thin skin. Give it a little bit of a bubble effect. And then we're going to pull dub out a little bit of the under dubbing here on the belly. And then last step is you're going to come back two segments, trim your tail. And there it is. The centipede pupa. I fish this pattern with a grease tippet. I don't grease the fly. I grease only the last. I grease the entire leader, but I grease the last six inches of tippet very heavy. And I try and keep this thing in the film as much as I can. It does exceptionally well. That's all I can say. I hope it adds to your box as it has mine. It's an excellent pattern, excellent. It may, it may only be an attractor pattern as a pupa, but it works. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Hope it adds to your box. Thank you. See you in the water.